how are you gonna figure that out? Okay, I'm gonna look through this guy's house and then we'll go do stuff. It does look pretty nice compared to everyone else's very shitty house. Like, there's like no water on the floor. There's like fire and light. This is cool. I would buy that. This is an unnecessary room. Perfect for rich people who don't seem to know what things are. That- Oh my god, I thought that was a guy standing on a surfboard! <laughs> That's a buoy! I was like, oh my god! There's like a guy standing there! Oh my god, I'm insane. Um... Do 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 do, just investigating. We got barrels and a pool table. Yeah, this part looks pretty bad. Waterlogged. Got a piano! Play the piano! <laughs> Can you imagine you're like, all right, private detective I just hired, go do your thing. And it's like, okay. And he goes into your basement and starts playing a piano. And you're like, why? This part looks okay. Tile's kind of bad, but you know, you know. Door Why do you lock doors in your house? Gosh. It's like you don't want me snooping. This is like... These plants are thriving. Damn. Yeah, that piano is a prime sales but Gosh, like... I love the plants in here, but it's crazy that they're in pots. That's the... <laughs> I'm just... I guess these ones look like they're coming... No, it's this plant is... Over here, it's growing all the vines. That's wild. Wow, you're really good at planting stuff. Every plant I have dies, so... What What do I know about nothing? Alright. Anyway. We continue on. I need more guns. I need more cool guy guns. Um... Uh, yeah, I gotta look- I gotta look at that <laughs> Maybe this one. This one looks pretty fancy. It's got a mailbox in front of it. There we go! That's monster sounds though, hold on. Gun at the ready. Loot that really quick. Hello? <laughs> um... Is that an upstairs monster or a downstairs monster? Oh, uh, on the stairs monster. Ouch. Woo! Shook! Oh shit, there's two. Ah! Stop! Stop! Stop being alive! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Go away! Oh, one of them's dead. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm out of bullets. Hold on. This is bullets. This has some bullets. Reload, reload, reload. Whoa! We did it. Uh, those are nasty. And my eyeballs are wonky. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't even lose that much life, but I should crap. Oops. Let me craft some bullets. There's never enough bullets in my life! Okay. The door won't budge. Uh, okay, I've got bullets in my gun. Francis Throgmorton is now single! Damn. Why keep a 40 year old newspaper article? Oh, not anymore. The city's darling scholar and adventurer is once again an eligible bachelor. Further text unreadable. <laughs> Letter to Mr. Throgmorton. Mr. Throgmorton, it is with deepest regret that I must inform you that the, the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. The demand for it has increased and now it is triple that which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time that I have raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Glover. Well... Fancy art people. Speaking of fancy art people, when I was <laughs> I was on the cruise ship and like 
there was an art auction there. Like they had like a gallery of like art and like modern day art. And so like I, I convinced, like I was like, okay, let's go. And we went to the art auction. I'm too poor to buy art. Let me just say that. Uh, and all the art, some of the pieces were going for like 30,000 plus dollars. I was like, holy guoli. One of them was like a uh, hundred thousand or something. I was like, this is insane. But it was really cool to sit in an art auction and hear people like, yes, I would like this art piece. And I'm like, even if I bought, if even if I could afford an expensive art piece, like, what would I do with it? Where would I put it? That's crazy. So yeah, art people would be crazy. Good. All right. So we've got a downstairs and an upstairs. I don't know. I don't know. We had two oogaboos. Give me stuff. Make bullets, make bullets. Okay, sorry, tiny scream. That? Is that cool or is this lame? I don't know how I feel about that. Piano. <laughs> uh, no. If there's a monster, you have to tell me, guys. Oh. Alcohol and statue's head what statue's missing his head i have to go look at them <laughs> is that something no okay well gun all right we're ready we're good really quick crafting sorry hold on i'm gonna craft health stuff insanity stuff i ran out of alcohol okay I'm just craft everything I can possibly craft. I'm going insane. <laughs> Is that his friend? If this was a different game, I'd be like, these knights are gonna come to life. I don't think that will happen to this one. But the possibility is not zero. What's that? Magic mirror. Picture of a mirror. Oh, the mirror that goes there. And a crowbar? Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Oh my god, what is happening in this place? Ah! <laughs> oh. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Okay. What is happening? Art. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, Spidey sense is tingling. What, what is it? The desk? There it is. I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. The mirror? Slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Interesting. Is there a. Oops. It's gotta be something, right? Another, like, thing for me to follow. There's a statue ahead? Man, there's a lot going on here. Um. Oh, is there more? No. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Okay, um... Let's go back downstairs. Is there a statue missing its head? These have heads. They look good. Ugh. <gasps> Door open. 
Secret cache. Can't, can't, can't carry any more health? Hold on. Not today, not today. Check it. Alright. Where are we with this? What What is this guy thinking? Letter. Crudely drawn picture of a strange looking mirror. Um, yeah. I guess he just wanted to know what happened to him, and I know what happened to him. He died. Okay. So go tell him that, I guess. Man, oh man. Double check the map. I'm going the wrong way. Is this a bus? Damn. Old buses are so crazy looking. <laughs> I love it. Man, I haven't seen a phone booth anywhere. Which sucks, because I want to be able to fast travel here. <laughs> I'll just have to look around more, I guess. Another block, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that guy will have info on the mirror? I don't know, because he was trying to buy it. So I imagine he would know. I don't get why the mirror is so cool, though. I don't get it. I thought it would be art. I mean, I guess mirrors can be art. Hey, guy. I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is I've found Glover. And the bad? He's dead. The bad news is he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Murdered. Moiden. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Oh. Find me Glover's killer. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. Okay, whatever, guy. I'll go figure out whatever. Blah, blah, blah. You should pay me in bullets. <laughs> Can I run? There we go. Ah! Shoot! Who's shooting me? Whoa. Yo, it's because I pulled a gun out and you got mad. Don't look at my gun. I just have a camera. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Investigation. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. There's like a gun on the floor. Is that... Is that mysterious? Look at that. Uh, there's a, another piano. Why would you have two? Uh, okay. Is this a mirror? There's like stuff on the floor. Huh. That's well, a yeah. lot of warning shots. There's a lot of shots. Huh. Okay. That's a lot of warning shots. Okay, investigation. We're doing it. We're doing it. <sighs> Only slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Oh, <gasps> yes. Here we go. So, murder or gun? Squint, run! Oh, oh Squint. Okay, I have killed him. <laughs> oh no, it was an accident. It was just a robbery gone wrong. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Oh no. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my house? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, definitely. They're like, let's Easiest loot. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags. Mr. Moneybags. Who are you? Shoot ya. What in K's name are you doing in my house? And then they accidentally killed him. Squint, run! 
Talk! Oh, Kay! I have killed him! Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. Squint? But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Ha! No, I'm going crazy. Calm down. Key evidence collected. But all evidence? No, not all of it. Squint mentioned that this is not his first robbery in the district of Old Grove. Okay, okay, okay. So if it's not his first robbery, I'm wondering if I should go to the newspaper archives and see if there's something that- Why should Greta Greta grow? Oh my god, there she is. <laughs> um, that could be something. Okay, yeah, we'll try that. Um, again, I would like a fast travel thing, so where where's the most likely place to get a fast travel? Sin, C I N Q U E, Q U E, C K P. Look at his eyes! <laughs> oh, look at this guy! Look at his fish bread. We can feed everyone. That's cool. I like that poster a lot. That's crazy. Household chemistry. Ooh. Come and take it from my cold dead hands. That's all that poster says. Take what, sir? Period. I couldn't tell you. But it would be a commoner. It would be a current event. And it would be in Old Grove. Search. No! Uh, every time. <laughs> Okay. I have to go to the restroom, so I'm gonna do that. Hold on, let's look at the map. Um, cause this is a police department. And now I'm thinking, what if I should go to the police and see if they have archives about thievery? Because that makes sense. Oh no, what happened? Think this door's gonna open? <gasps> Hello, sir. Do you have archives I can just look at for free? Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius to crack the case of Albert Throgmorton. You're Captain welcome. Caleb Lyons at your service. Caleb Lyons? We what a name. Simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes. Why are you mad at me? Because I did your job for you? I want to use your archive. Do you have a problem, sir? You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can <laughs> anyway, I can I use your archive? <laughs> you can, uh. but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice. Okay. And I'll be under it when it breaks. Ugh. That's very unsettling, and I don't like it. Give me your archives. Where? Where? Oh my god, I thought that coat was a person. I got scared. Staff only. Archive. There we go. Alright, we got this. Crimes. Will be prop property crimes. Thievery, right? Subjects. Suspects. Evidence Ooh. in Grimhaven. No, um, oh my god. Oh, because I'm an idiot and I was in the wrongs. <laughs> it wasn't in the bay. Let's go back to suspect and Ah, 
Yeah, it's like working on a math problem for three days and then realizing that you fucked up on the first step. That's what that fe that's the feeling I'm experiencing right now. <clears throat> Squint's police profile. His name is Philip O'Connell, alias Squint, sex male, age 46, residence unknown, crimes, numerous bur burglaries in Old Grove, breaking and entering, and tax evasion. Possible associates. Name, Sydney Stokes, alias Nun, sex male, age 21, residence, Oakmont, Massachusetts, Northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road, crimes, jaywalking, lollygagging, and jury duty dodging. This guy is a stone cold G. Ugh, took me a thousand years. So I have to go find his friend. Right. Oops, oop, oop. Thanks for nothing, cop. I love that all the streets have names and like the map is like very realistic. It's kind of a fun detail. Also, all the street names are crazy. <laughs> like, it's definitely very telling. What is that guy? Dazzling uranium glassware. Something, look on the bright side of life. Oh, uranium glassware, that's, that's local crazy. Got fast travel though, so that's that's something. You could pretend like that was my ultimate goal. Mr. Marcusson's finest old Oakmont fish vodka. 18th Amendment. Fisk Branvin. Tastes better than it smells. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here's the intersection. Uh, okay, go west. Uh, what's west? That's west. Right next to this thing. <gasps> Look for a house. Like this? Oh my freaking goodness. Um, I will need a gun. Just in case things get hairy. Hello? Freaking heck, this was not simple to find. <sighs> I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. Finally look at one up close. They look crazy. Looks more like a cat than I thought it would. But it's like not a cat. Letter from the morgue? Mr. Stokes, the price for a separate burial for your mother Martha Stokes is 30 bullets. The morgue cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for bullets than we have recess that then we have resources or manpower to satisfy or for burials sorry oh my i'm like for bullets more requests for burials than we have the resources to satisfy you must take the payment in to make the payment in two weeks i can't read or we will have to enter your mother in a mass grave that's sad and i'm going spidey sense ha huh. fuck what where is it where is it What are you pointing at? What? Hello? Yeah, what, crouch, crouch down and like look at that shit. What? Oh my god. What is happening? Look at it! <laughs> Investigate. Do I have to shoot it? Is that, is that the case? There we go. Picture of mom? Martha Stokes. In peace. That was it? No. Bullets? That was it! No honor among thieves. I got an achievement. Just for stealing from this guy? Okay. That was kind of shady. Um. Oh, I stole the money he could have used to bury his mom. Feel bad. Uh, but I stole his bullets, so. Anyway, here we are. We gotta wash, wash stuff. We've got tub, rub a dub dub, and we've got nothing. We've got. This is where I entered. Okay, upstairs. Dead? Fuck! Fuck! Ah, shit. 
I'm like stuck with a <laughs> Whoa, shit. Reload, 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 reload. Oh, golly. <laughs> Fuck, guys. Where'd it go? Oh, there's two. Freaking hell. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 I got nothing. Can I craft this? No, I don't have shell casings. Frick. Okay. How am I doing on... Okay! I have a shovel, though. So... I'm getting real close to it. How hard is it to smack it to death? I've never tried smacking it to death. Yeah! Okay, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. Ah! Woo! Heal yourself! Alright. Golly. Frick. Okay. Come at me, bros! Stop throwing up and let me smack you. Oops. God. Oh my god, this is bad news. Heal. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Smack it again! I got one! I got one! Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't throw up on me. Smack! Smack! Smack him! Oh, ouch. Ew, gross, gross, gross. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. And smack him! And smack him! Oh, freaking heck! <gasps> I did it! Why don't you get a shot and heal up? Perfecto. Wow. Wow. Combat is getting better over time, guys. Look at this dead body. Uh, looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survive getting shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did it? You know, these are good questions, but I don't have answers to. What what is making me What's giving me the spidey sense? Where is that coming from? Spidey sense. This aha. There we go. At long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. What? Who? An old lady? Is that a fish? Find the woman who took the mirror. Bird? Bird? Symbol? Fuck! Get away from the- Oh, what? the gods. I thought you were another monster. Sydney Stokes, I presume. Aye, oh, yeah, aye, that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here. I didn't think Herbert this guy would be alive. I believe you know him, or should I say, knew him. Uh, okay. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. Oh. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. What? You said she put the wall here. Who is she? Am I dealing with a witch? She, she, she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I Is it actually a magic mirror like I was joking about earlier? Cuz if so, that's crazy. Um what was your job? What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big bro out and she shifted him. Okay, what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Get a job? What she Come look on. like? Paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin. Very thin. Just skin and bones. Mean like a rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at it. Hair color, eye color, height. There's a lot of things you can remember. Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I I, I swear to Kay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. 
The guy started shooting at us, and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. I don't know why you don't believe him. That seems reasonable to me. Witness. I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. I don't care. I'll let him go. Look, you might be a sap. I'm not a cop. At least you're I'm not, not a, a cop. Sap. I'll look the other way, but you better get scarce and fast. My guy looks so Thank tired you. every time I see you're his a face. Life uh, you won't see me again, I swear. He here, take this. Thanks again. I think almost everyone, they're like, you can turn them in. I don't think I've turned anyone in. <laughs> um, I got a little distracted by the whole bird fish thing. Uh, I think there was a fit, another thing? Or was that? Let's go back. Hold on. Lore, correspondence, letter from the board. Okay, case book. An unknown woman took possession of the mirror that the thieves stole from the Glover's residence. Oh, from Glover's residence. Blech. She killed Phil O'Connell, and also known on the street as Squint. She said that she'd fix what Francis had done. She may look old, but there's not a frail bone in her body, and she's still more cap more than capable of murder. And he did this stuff. What? So these are dialogue options. Ah! Aha! Aha! I should return to Mr. Throgmorton to tell him what I found. Yes, I should. Bye. There's his house. Now I'm gonna be like, yo, a little grandma killed a bunch of people, stole all your stuff. I guess didn't steal his stuff, but stole his friend's stuff and killed his friend indirectly. It's kind of all over the place. I can't believe these guys with guns just, like, hang out. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over, uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. You know who that is? And the thieves are both dead, you say? Yes. Their employer decided to bump them off. <laughs> now, I hope that's not standard I business I am a protector of all parts. criminals, apparently. You've proven to be far more valuable to me alive than dead, Mr. Reed. You have nothing to worry about in that regard. All yeah, right. give me money. I've my end of the bargain. Money. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. But she might be magical, so, like, give me some info. I'll take it. I'm on it. I want to know. Well, we I want to know how this ends. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, yes. That is, without doubt, my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. What's he got to do with this? Also, is she magical? Tell me more about this lady. Records, that's what led me to take interest. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? Take a the gander. The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. I'm an investigator. If need, so be it. Take this key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 gauge shell. Wait, hold, do I have a new gun? Through the looking glass? What? Oh my god, hold on. Too many things popped up. Dorog Morton Manor. Investigate. Okay. Well, I've already snooped through your house a lot, so... <laughs> it was the first thing I did when you let me in. Um, we'll go downstairs. Yeah, where are your archives? Or there's just dad's stuff. There's like nothing down here. It's 
probably in that room full of cool plants. Oh no, there was a locked room. Yeah, I remember. I was like cranky about it. It's definitely in the locked room. Don't listen to me. <laughs> That's why he gave me a key. There's also a lot of cool plants though, so... 50... 50. Francis Throgmorton discovers the Unknown Africa. 19... Oops. 1891. Do it backwards. Seems an ambitious expedition. Huh? Like father, like son. I mean, I'm sure someone knew about Africa. Huh, the Africans. craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp, but... I guess that's the point. Is this something to look at? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh. 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. <laughs> but like, his son looks an awful lot like a gorilla. That looks an awful lot like a gorilla. Exclusive interview! Francis Throgmorton's expedition to Africa has been proven to be- has proven to be one of the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, undertakings of 1891. He has returned with numerous historical artifacts, invaluable anthropological research, a newborn son! Christened Robert, and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. <laughs> Today, in an exclusive interview with the Oakmont Chronicle, he has agreed to share some of those insights with us. I'm just saying. Is Rosie the gorilla that man's father? Mother. The dad is a man, and the mom is a gorilla. It's probably possible. I don't want to think about it too much, but like... I mean, that's also what the witch lady said in my vision. She was like, that? What would you call him? An ape lover? <laughs> Alright, where's where's my... Where did my... Whoa. Ah! I'm going insane. Don't do that. Stop looking. Frick. We gotta calm down. We gotta calm down. Don't go insane. Don't go insane. What happens in undiscovered Africa? Yeah, apparently. It stays there. Now, that kid looks a little familiar. That is the gorilla boy that you know is a man. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. <clears throat> 1894. Francis. Divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court, the most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It's my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Regards, Chauncey. <laughs> yeah, I know, apparently. <laughs> Gets a massive inheritance. That's good. So. This is 1894. And his seven year old son died from his human wife, Bethany. So that child was from before. The 1891 Africa trip? I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm just putting things in a row. Key evidence collected. I mean, is there anything else in here? I can't get over this framed picture. She looks like she's holding like a drink too. She's just like, yeah, like, woo. I don't know. I just... <laughs> It's an interesting concept. Is there anything else? I'm gonna like snoop around a little bit more. This room is very cool, but also it looks like a jungle, like where, you know, gorillas might want to live. Just saying. 
Am I being racist at this point? I don't think so, because I think this man is actually a gorilla. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe- I thought it was just like a weird thing and I, I just- Oh my god. Albert Throgmorton obituary. In loving memory. Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton, and descendant of a robust bloodline of gorillas, died on Thursday at Oakmont Port, aged 25 years. Is there something wrong with a guy who likes matron leaves? <laughs> oh. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. The Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words and prayers sent by the citizens of Oakmont. Is there anything else in your house? It's still like, yo, there's extra stuff here. But what? This phone? No, that's just a reflection. I like to think he didn't find a random gorilla. He found, when, it, when dad went to Africa, he found Gorilla City from the DC comics and he found an intelligent gorilla. And then it's like, yeah, girl, what up? Tell me about Bethany. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon. I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah. Oh my that. god, I can't hear this guy talk. It would turn evolution on his head. Yeah, I'm sure. Who needs intelligence when you got curves? I love all the, the gorilla love. The gorilla body love from the chat. <laughs> Have a good day. It's good. All evidence collected. So now that I know this, very personal information. What? I'm not even on the main case. We're on this side case. Uh, okay, we got a mirror. Yeah. We looked at the stuff. We got this picture. Oh! Oh! What if the witch is Bethany, the ex-wife, right? And she's like, a bitch, my husband left me for a gorilla. That's fucked. I lost a baby. And then he's like, divorce. And so now she's like, uh-huh, bitch, I'm stealing your shit. Oh my god, I've cracked the case. It's all Jerry Springer style drama. Okay. What do I need to do? Investigate where? I need to do a side quest for the doctor, but <laughs> uh, it's really hard. Okay, we're looking for a patient from like early who's in the asylum from old grove you know what you know what guys let's just let's bite the bullet and let's go to um let's go to that place try to go to the why are there so many ambulances i didn't see any ambulances last time i was here Let's try to go to City Hall and see if there's a divorce paper. And if on the divorce paper there is a reason, because he had to say he had to state a reason for why they were getting divorced. And maybe he didn't say asylum. Maybe he said something else. Because she's not coming up with asylum records. Um so Harmonica guy, how do I give you a tip? How do I give you money? Just kidding. I don't have any bullets, I told you, I'm poor. Can you imagine me? <laughs> because bullets are currency, I was like, what if I just like pulled my gun out? It was like, here's the tip. No. Yeah, the shovel is definitely like, what's up? 
that's that's what's up. Okay, I hope this. I hope I get the paper, the info I need from this place. Yes, yes. I haven't got all day. What do you want? It's like really talking to city uh, people. Just My gosh. To say hi. I'm new in town. Oh, how nice for you. Do you have archives? If you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line like everybody else. Is there like a lot of people? There's no line. Get in line? I'm the only one here. Well, I guess that means I'm first then. So, I can just go look up what I need. Don't sass me, young man. Next time there could be a line here, and you'll get no special treatment. Okay, Gma, fine. Bye. Yeah, I, I love the idea. You're just like, cha ching, cha ching. I'm just giving you guys tips. All right. So, we've got period 19th century. Uh, registry, legal documents, district, old girl. Okay, this seems like. Nah! Okay. Still promising. I'm still prom. It's still good. I've never gotten it on the first try. It's all good. Um, yeah, cause 1894, so that's good. I'm gonna look at the map again. So, what is this fish? Fish market. Makes sense. Wrong decisions lead to enriching replay. Yeah. Spatian Harbor. Do I have one in every- no. I don't have anything in Red Heights, which is apparently huge. Cause I was gonna say like, could I go to the asylum and like look around? But uh, no, I don't think that's something I know where it is anyway. Let's go back to casebook. Oh no! You guys, I don't even need to look at the archive. It's not even what I'm supposed to do. Oh my gosh, Sunless Sea. I played a little bit of it. I haven't played that much of it, but I do have that game. It's very cool. I like the art style a lot. So, I need to investigate a location. But where is that location? Where is this guy's office? Okay, different problem. It's okay. Let's think about a different problem. Um... Whilst I'm here, I may as well just open up the other archive to, like, make sure. Where is the library, though? <laughs> make sure it's not in that archive. I don't think it would be, but, you know, I'm just looking at everything today. I'm just gonna unlock a little bit of everything. What was I? Is that what I want? Uh, hello? Hello. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Why? Would it be rude if I asked what's wrong with her mouth? I'm just like... I'm gonna ask. This guy's rude. I apologize for my bluntness, but can I ask you a question? Mouth? Yeah. <laughs> she knows. Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but that can't be legal, can it? This looks like... it looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. I need to see your book catalogs. <sighs> sure. Over there. And that's it? No payment, <laughs> no threatening, no favors in return? No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, <laughs> eyes. I can't- I also can't believe I saw the, like, poster that also had the sewn shut mouth. I was like, that's crazy! And then I was like, oh no. How's the library- I feel bad about talking to her because her mouth is, like, messed up. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in check. Really? Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope. 
entertainment, escapism. I mean, true. Now, more than ever, can't imagine library without his help. I hate looking at her mouth. Oh my god, girl. My joy. Can I, like, take some, like, wire cutters to that? Ugh. Ah! Alright. It's like... Quiet, please. I'm so curious about what kind of punishment that would be for. Um, I don't know if you guys watch a little show called uh, Handmaid's Tale, but they also do that in that show, and it's super gross. I'm not gonna lie, like, the idea of getting your mouth sewn shut is, like, it's not a new idea, but it's very scary and gross. Especially with the idea of it being, like, metal or something that you can't, like, cut. I just... Uh, sorry, I need to stop talking about this. Library secrets. Ah! Whoa. We're good. I don't know what I heard. Typewriter! Type a letter to the newspaper and tell them that their archives suck. Ah! Oh my god, it's just a regular guy. We're good. What up, guy? What are you looking for? Books? Alright. <laughs> what are you looking for? Books? All right, what do we got? Book information, period, region. Okay, so I can learn about books here. Makes sense. This is a library. Is that the asylum on the hill? Wow. <laughs> is that it? No way. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah! Okay. That's like, um, the, so my apartment building is like right next to some hills. And so if you go to like the parking garage area like you could like look out and see these like very gorgeous looking hills like especially when it's green um but it's funny because like off in the hills there's like this beautiful brick building and we don't know what it is and like we just like jokingly refer to it as the asylum because it kind of looks like it could be an old-timey asylum on the hill but like I genuinely don't know what that building is uh and now there is an asylum on the hill in this game so that's good what are we gonna find here? A witch? That would be crazy. Don't tell me there's like archives here. I'll be a little pissed. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Bethany Throgmorton. You got any patients by that name? We'd know if we had a Throgmorton. Although, we do have a Bethany. Or rather, we did. Sh she's missing. And not on one of her usual walks. Walks? Usual walks. You let patients leave the building? Oh, Bethany was harmless, and she always came back. This time, well, I've never known her to be like that. Missing? You mean she broke out? Yes, knocked an orderly out cold. What? She was out the door in a moment. It took us all by surprise. She's usually harmless. That's also how all tiger attacks, tiger attacks happen. When people are like, my tiger never attacked me before, and then it killed me. Any wild animal. Any idea I love animals, went. but they're gonna kill no. you. <laughs> wild animals are wild, friends. Odd recently, though. Uh, muttering to herself, and she drew this strange picture on her bedroom wall. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. She had a separate room downstairs. Here's the key, but do watch out for broken glass. Bye. Wow, that lady's... I thought it would be harder to, like, get in. She said downstairs. As I continue to look upstairs anyway. Just a snoop records room. Plants! I'm just- I'm so impressed by the indoor plant situation everyone has in this town. Let's play! I would love to, sir, but I am in the middle of a let's play. Don't just stare at my leaves. Oh my god, he's a plant. He's just like poison ivy. They're the same. Also, she was in asylum. Do you remember? Everything's Batman all the time. What does it say? Eventually, you'll end up where you meant to be, and will be doing what you are supposed to do. And there's a picture of a man at war. <laughs> That's not... I am not what has happened to me. I am what I chose to become. What I choose to become. Many faces. These are not great for being in a mental asylum. 
I don't, I wouldn't. Question your choices, Watch guy. Watch your pocket. Some patients here have wandering fingers. Okay. day. As I continue to go the opposite direction. Uh huh. What is this animal? Like crab, fish, angler fish thing. What? Why do you have these? How do you have these? Whoa! That's a little. It's a little suspicious, guys. That this is just here. Where's my gun? It all depends on how we look at things. What? It's just people eating dinner? Am I missing something? The knife is bloody on the table? Oh! Is that not- That's an interesting- Hmm. Hmm. I like all the artwork in this game. It's so weird. I would have any of these posters on my wall. Where's my gun? Well, I don't have any bullets. Can I make bullets? Just- just- I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't feel safe. Can I take any of that stuff? No? I mean- no, what am I saying? Why would I steal from a hospital? Oh my god, I thought I saw a monster. Hello? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, do your counting. What can I do for you? Nothing. I'm just snooping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gunpowder shell casings. <gasps> you know what that means. Bullet, bullet, bullet. All right. Ugh. I have to go to the dentist. I have to make a dentist appointment. <laughs> I also don't like going to the dentist. I don't like any sort of like medical or medical-ish procedures. I'm just a freaky guy. On the mountains of madness! What did I say? You can never climb in vain. Earlier I was saying how Into the Mountains of Madness is my favorite Lovecraft story. It's very cool. Haven't you seen the beast? I mean, I did. Don't worry about it. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Don't worry about it. I still talk about it, guys. Oh. What? Laundry room. She had a private room? Oh my god. Broken mirror? Magic mirror? I swear to god. Hypodermic. Hypodermic tablets, hyoscine, morphine, and cactoid composition number one. There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. Dope. The blood's almost dry. What is that? Oh, that's her room. Whoa. Then what's over here? Oh. It's just electricity sound. Okay, we're good. Back to the room. 